All right, hello everyone. Now, it's been quite a while since I've actually done a re recording of this. The original bonus was done when I finished the, uh, well, finished the end of the the campaign that we played through. And honestly, I wasn't satisfied with it. Uh, because <laughs> it was just more of a rant about what my thoughts were, so... I thought I'd come back and actually redo this before I actually go into recording my next, the next game we're going to be getting into. Um, so, a few things. I don't know if I touched on it at the end. I forget. It's been a while since I played it. But this song right here. Uh, to actually unlock it, as well as, I think there's one other one. Yeah, this one. Uh, both of them, I'm I'm not sure exactly what that one is down there. I, I My guess is it's the uh, credits song, and I guess I just never waited till the end of the credits. I don't know. That or if I, I if I did, I have to play through one of the final chapters, and it has to be in Japanese, which is dumb. I I don't think that some that should be a requirement to unlock things in the music library, but whatever I guess. Um, <laughs> I will say this game has really good background music as far as the maps go it, that you, you do your fights in for chapters. I This is probably one of the weirder ones, the Shambhala uh, music. It mixes techno into Fire Emblem, which is weird, but I mean, this whole game was weird and utilizing technology. I don't have a problem with it. It's just weird, especially for Fire Emblem titles. Uh, but the... I have to find it again. Uh, the song of the Nabataeans, or yeah, this one is one. It, like I was saying earlier, you have to do the uh, the ballroom scene in both English and in Japanese to unlock it. I don't know why, but there you go. Uh, I guess because there's like lyrics to it and it's only recognized if you have played both. Uh, I don't know. It's dumb. Anyway. Uh, movie gallery wise, if you've played every single path, every single one of these is available to you. Um, The, and you can also switch between the male and female versions of Byleth if you want to view the cutscenes with either of those. And all you gotta do when it says change settings, press the X button and you can change it. Um, there's not that much difference. There's just minor differences like the ball where instead of Claude grabbing your like the back of your hand and your wrist and pulling you out, he like does like a ginger guide with his hand. I, it's not much. I mean, it's a difference, but I, I don't know. I will say overall, this game doesn't... It, they don't really do a whole lot <laughs> in terms of having things too different between whether you pick uh, the male or female version of Byleth. Uh, these here are all of the different cutscenes of, like, uh, whether, oh, um, you have, uh, a, the, the diff, gosh, I can't even think right now, the, the different, uh, moments where you're with a, other people and talking in those cutscenes. That, that's what I'm trying to say. They're called events, but you mean to say it's, that you were disbanding us? It's this part right here. Yes. 
After speaking with the Cardinals, my decision is final. The Ashen Wolf House was originally established for youths who are in need of the Church's protection somewhere along the way. But that kind of a thing. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of this and show every... This is one thing I was not going to grind out. I'm just going to be completely honest. Because you have to play through a particular chapter all the way through and then go through the goddess tower scene with each of those characters. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, as far as the support conversations with everyone, I was planning originally, originally when I was planning on doing this, going through the entirety of everyone's support conversation that you could ever po that we ever possibly had with each character and just showing that i think that's just too much i'm pretty sure i got everybody but honestly in the end i don't think showing that is just it's just not worth it <laughs> That that's way too much of your time, and I don't want to do that. If you do have, if you want to see it, I, I've seen plenty of people like posting the support conversations. I don't have a problem with uh, putting them up, but I don't. I, I'm not gonna grind out every single one of these, so I'm I'm not. I will say I thought I did actually get Dorothea's, but apparently not. <laughs> um. I, the only, because I, I thought I got hers, I got, um, and I thought I got Leonis, but I guess what I ended up doing is when I finished the uh, Golden Deer, I only did two others, and that was uh, Leone and uh, Petra, apparently. Uh, other than that, um, these are the support conversations that I had with the female version of Byleth. Um, I did not have the DLC when I played as the female version of Byleth, so that's why there's no support conversations at all with them. And... Overall, I don't have... A whole lot because I've only done like two complete playthroughs. One of them was doing uh, Black Eagle first, and then I went through the Golden Deer. Um, this is where you change it from English to Japanese. Weirdly enough, and I guess I kind of get it, but when you switch this over, it returns you to the title screen. It re essentially reboots the game almost. To do that I think that's a weird thing and that's why switching the language is kind of a hassle and I never really wanted to do it to begin with um, but the other thing is is I will go ahead and personally say this I think the Japanese voices for this game are horrifically bad this is just my personal opinion but it, when you start making half of the male cast sound a lot more effeminate and some of them even sound like women and it, it, it just is like <laughs> I, I think that the English voice acting is a hundred thousand it, it was so much better I think I kind of went into it uh, in the final episode of it I don't really remember in, in the previous one and then you can just wipe all your data if you want. Uh, that that seems kind of dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> Especially uh, if you spend that much time playing a game. Uh, this was the amount of hours we spent playing uh, in our playthrough when we finished the final battle. Uh, this was the amount of time I put in my own personal playthrough. I, I was planning on doing all four paths for both. I and this is again it it's because after so long of just trying to go through it I got tired of it I don't I 
even after all this time, I actually still don't enjoy this game that much. <laughs> I feel bad, but because I do love Fire Emblem, but this game is actually probably one of the worst ones I've played. Um, that being said, um, like it's not going to be the end of the world or anything, but I do feel bad that I feel this way about this game because when I, I had my uncertainties when I first saw some of the things about the game, but as I started playing it, I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty fun, but I think it's mainly the story and how they decide to do the different paths in the game that really just irritated me and the the characters and it, the majority of the care cast of characters that you play in this uh, that you can recruit in this game are absolutely atrocious and i walked away from it and i kind of felt well maybe i'm being a bit biased or something i don't know i have been playing through because again this has made me cautious about playing games blind in this uh, on this channel uh, i i have been playing through Triangle Strategy um, since it's come out, and I gotta tell you, it's an amazing game from the things I have played. It's amazing. It's actually really difficult, even on normal. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it's got really good difficulty with it, and the cast is so good in that game. Oh my goodness. It, it's such a gem to be able to play through that game and I will eventually I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it I might stream it and then just kind of bring some of the stuff over to YouTube because uh, you do need to grind in that game uh, just simply because I uh, there's people that kind of temporarily leave and you need to level them up and all this kind of stuff but anyway <laughs> That's not what this video is about. It's not about that game, even though I pro I will get into that game at some point. Not immediately. I want to finish the 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 path I'm playing in that game currently, um, before I even consider it right now. <clears throat> but I I just wanted to make a little short video about this. And as far as I as far as support conversations, I'm pretty sure I did a decent job. I know I didn't catch everything on camera um but if you want to kind of get an idea of how far i went with everybody uh i'll just kind of run through this a little hey, real quick um as i'm kind of giving my final opinions even m like months after i finished <laughs> the the series uh officially so this game within itself I would say if there was just one singular path to take, it would not be nearly as bad. But since it's multiple paths and half of the game is the same no matter what path you take, it makes it more of a chore to play through it to see the other paths. And I don't blame anybody who does not want to uh pursue the game more than specific paths i don't blame you at all because i'm in the same boat if i i personally think it's a, a chore and it's rather annoying to play through all these games multiple times and not really get to feel like you're rewarded for it because and I'm talking about it, it feeling very different. I, and I understand that some of it needs to be like consistent with some of the things like Gerald passing away due to uh, him being killed by those who slither in the dark. I understand that, and I don't have a personal problem with that specifically. Uh, what I do have a problem with is... The fact that the first half of the game is the same thing, just with short dialogue changes because of the party who's talking. I, it's kind of dumb. I, I still wanted to showcase it just because, hey, most of it is 
it, it kind of, I, I wanted to showcase those events, I guess is what they're called. Because it kind of gives a little bit of a um, deeper insight into them as characters. And that's why I wanted to showcase it. Uh, other than that, I really never came across any... Oh, I actually have every support conversation like Scythia has, is capable of having. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> when it's all kind of just said and done, though, I really don't have a... It, it, it's a game that, while it can be deeply loved and adored for what it tried to do... There are games who do the separate paths way better, and one of them being Triangle Strategy. I can tell you just right off the bat. I would say I'm pretty close to getting to the end game in that, and its story is way better. It has way, way better just execution of having that divergent path point, and it also... It, it it takes a nod to some of the choices you have made. It makes sure that it's like, oh, I know what you did. Uh, one of them being a, I, when you're defending a town, you can use whatever means necessary to actually defend the home, even it defend the town, even if it means destroying every home. But if you do that, you essentially might get the ire of everybody in that. But I chose, no, I'm not going to destroy the homes. I'm not going to use any of those methods. I'm going to fight them with a, other a, the casting, the a, a, weapons, and all this other stuff. And I was able to win. It was hard. Uh, but I was able to win, and... I, they actually acknowledged, hey, you didn't destroy the town. Thank you very much. And even a little girl found her toy doll in the uh, in in the house where she had left it. And she's like, thank you so much. It's like, OK, this is I, this has caught my attention. Um but this game, it's kind of like, whatever, man. It, it, it doesn't acknowledge any of the para it, like the main story doesn't acknowledge any of the paralogs that you do. Um, it, one of the it, one of the more obvious ones is related to Marianne uh, is the fact that it, she's accepted the fact that um, she has the mark of the beast. And it well the the crest of the beast, <laughs> not the mark of the beast. That's something completely different. <laughs> the crest of the beast, and she feels a lot more high spirited after that whole encounter. Yet, when we were playing through the Golden Deer Path and we did that mission, she had such a pessimism about everything in herself, and it just seems so disconnected. It's like, but but but. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it. I think this game tries, but is not very successful at what it wanted to execute. And that's a shame. Um, and I do think it's partially due to the fact that half the game is the same thing, just with different characters. I, I don't think that's a good way to play a game. Um... They do have really good songs in this, like whether it be the God Shattering Star, Shambhala. I, you, the Spirit Deus is the one that I've been putting in the end slate. I, well, the end slate, the, the end credits, more or less, of each of the videos. And that's the one where it, it, it's those moments where it, you are talking with Sothis in part one. I really do like this song. It is fantastic. And it actually it made 
m putting music at the end of the videos a lot easier than I normally have had. Uh, just because I could come here, record just the game, and record however long I wanted the music, and then just be gone. <laughs> and, and just leave it at that, and then have that be a part of the, uh, the video. Made it really nice. Um, but, anyway. I, I didn't want to take too much of your time. I, I do have my complaints about this. I A lot of it is to the fact that I think it sh should have been just a female protagonist. I don't think the male version should have existed, just my personal opinion. Um, because as playing it, it really did seem like it was more geared to uh, Byleth being a female. Which is fine. I don't have just problem with just a female protagonist i one of my favorite fire emblem characters is lynn from the first fire emblem that came overseas so i i don't have a problem with there being a female protagonist in a game um i do have a problem with it them trying to and this is just how i see it i have a problem with a game or a company creating a game trying to cater to everybody because they make it so bland and dull it's just not fun and that's what this happened that's my opinion of this game that's what happened to it i uh, i especially with this it's like I, having both straight and gay relationships at the end of the thing it's like just just stop just stop i don't care for it and this has nothing to do with the fact that i'm christian it's if you have a character that you want and to essentially be gay, then just make the character gay. Don't make this ridiculous nonsense that you have here. Um, I mean, for <laughs> originally when I saw this character, Yuri, this is honestly a call to uh, Shadow of Valentia, which who has a character named Yuri and the character is gay. They never say it, and it's never it's hinted at because of the way he talks about the the Lord he is a retainer of. I, but he never outright says anything. I don't. I would care more about something in that nature than this. Whatever this is, you know, it's stupid. Also, Shadow of Valencia is probably one of the best Fire Emblem games I've played. It's not my... F I, would, I would categorize it as one of my favorite ones. It's probably right under um, Sacred Stones because it did so much good in that game. I love that game. I wish I could play it <laughs> for this channel, but I don't have a way... It, I don't have a 3DS that's actually functional anymore, and I don't have a way to record 3DS. So... There you go. Otherwise, I would totally play that game. Um, that being said, uh, I do, it, since I had mentioned it, I do plan on redoing that first Fire Emblem LP I did. It was years and years ago, if you were here for that. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, but I do plan on redoing that one because... A, oh my goodness, my commentary was so bad in it. And B, I had some weird technical issues while playing through it. And so two of the chapters aren't in that video series. And it's bugged me ever since that had ever happened. But I was I I didn't want to go back and play through the entire game at the time. Uh Currently, I'm not going to immediately go from that into from this game into that. I will do it after probably the next big project is done. Because there is a game I am wanting to play. And I've been wanting I've been planning on doing it for quite a bit. Um, I have just been waiting for the right time to do it. And I think right now is the time. Uh, also, because Advance Wars... Uh, reboot camp is postponed until further notice thanks to things happening in the world um, 
I don't know. Hey, we won't be touching that game right now. <laughs> um, so, I uh, that's the the next big series is going to be starting in April. I don't know exactly when this is going to be going up. I'm going to be focusing on uploading this game specifically since Captain Toad's done. Um, but the next kind of game that's going to be going up on a semi-ish regular basis between now and whenever the next uh, big game starts in April is a game that was requested and I was it I wasn't discounting the game at all I was wanting to make sure I could show everything and I do have confirmation through playing through the whole game that I can show everything I'll get into it when we actually start that so um, Thank you all for joining me in this series. Uh, the next series that's going to be started is none other than a title I've played many games of in this channel, and it's because it's one of my favorite video game series of all time. Uh, I hope you do join me in for that. See you guys later.